Shout out to Trader Valley. This one's for you, Trader Valley. And shout out to Herpes Halfway House. Any dummies that's willing to get that smoke for your dumb ass. Shout out to them. I do have so much fun exposing y'all. Deserve your recognition. Huggy's gay and Melissa's son. I haven't even talked to him. And all he doesn't deserve your recognition. Huggy's gay and Melissa's son. And I haven't even talked to him. And all of a he doesn't deserve your recognition. Huggy's gay and Melissa's son. And I haven't even talked to him. And all of a he doesn't deserve your recognition. Huggy's gay and Melissa's son. And I haven't even talked to him. And all of a told me what. Just ignore all these fools. I'm ignoring them. On those, please, 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 I listen to you when you tell me to do something. Ignore all these fools. I'm ignoring them all. And just on those, please, just please, 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 I listen to you when you tell me to do something. I'm ignoring them all. And just on those, please, 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 I listen to you when you tell me to do stuff. Please. Thank you. You're like my brother, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. all these fools. I'm ignoring them all. On those, please, 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 I listen to you when you tell me to do something. Ignore all these fools. I'm ignoring them all. Just on those, please, 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 I listen to you when you tell me to do stuff. I'm ignoring them all. And just on those, please, 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 I listen to you when you tell me to do stuff. Please. Thank you. You're like my brother, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just ignore all these fools. I'm ignoring them all. On those, please, 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 I listen to you when you tell me to do stuff. Ignore all these fools. I'm ignoring them all. On those, please, 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 I listen to you when you tell me to do stuff. I'm ignoring them all. And just on those, please, 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 he doesn't deserve your recognition. Huggy's gay and Melissa's son. And I haven't even talked to him. And he doesn't deserve your recognition. Huggy's gay and Melissa's son. And I haven't even that voice to him. Did he he you speak to her on the phone? Huggy's I never did. Huggy's gay and Melissa's son. And I haven't even talked to him. No, I'm like, he doesn't deserve oh, you your recognition. Huggy's gay and Melissa's son. They're the ones going around telling people you gay and Melissa's son. Shout out to them. Man, stay away from world news. Oh, but I would say that he does a good job. Man, stay away from world news. Whatever, but I wouldn't like say that he does a good job. Man, stay away from world But I wouldn't like say that he does a good job. Man, stay away from world news. I haven't even talked to him. No one have told me what he's been Whatever. saying. But I wouldn't like say that he does a good job. I haven't even talked to him. No one must have told me what he's been saying, but I wouldn't like say that he does a good job or I did that on accident. I gave him the bit of the fact of the doubt too many times. Just don't. No one must have told me what he's been saying. The guy is hellbent. These people are hellbent and sick. No one must have told me what he's been saying. Just don't. The guy is hellbent. These people are hellbent and sick. No one must have told me what he's been saying. Talking about herself. Mika been over for two years. She thinks she's alive and she's still around. Get rid of her ass. She ain't nothing but a devil racist. Man, stay away from world news. Go over to the forward channel. People are I'm crackheads and need some serious fucking Man, news. stay away from world news. These people are crackheads and need some serious fucking help. She's a Man, crackhead. Man, stay see away this? from world news. These people are crackheads and need some serious fucking help. Man, stay away from world news. What about the blast girl, baby Jasmine? Even up there, rock with the real Tennessee power best. Man, stay away from world news. But I wouldn't like say that he does a good job. Man, stay away from world news. But I wouldn't like say that he does a good job. Man, stay away from world. But I wouldn't like say that he does a good job or man stay away from world news i haven't even talked to him no one must have told me what he's been saying but i wouldn't like say that he does a good job i haven't even talked to him no one must have told me what he's been saying but i wouldn't like say that he does a good job or i did that on accident i gave him the bit of the fact of the doubt too many times just don't he saw that video i guess i did Give me a second, I gotta get the show ready. Yeah. I know. I don't want to have to wait here. I don't want to have to wait here. I don't want to have to wait here.
and you gotta believe his baby mother. He believe in total strangers that never met me and never will. I believe his baby mother. Dirty dick herpes half a nigga. Bum fat ass going nowhere herpes half a nigga. It's the soundtrack to the Trader Belly movie coming this September 2020. It's gonna have all your plan of the fake villains in it. All of them. Come on, let's do it. Plan of the face. No, no, no. You can keep your sign up in your false flag radio. STG Psyop going on in the YouTube street. Dope heads halfway houses. The party. Yep, yep, I know. Come on. Catch this live, he's going to the website. Subliminal 
messages. What's wrong with you? Let's get into this, y'all. Planet of the Jakes. This is the Jasmine Elin update. I don't know if y'all know about Jasmine Elin, but this is an update on it. And if you don't catch this live, oh well, go to our website. I'll be putting this live on our website. A lot of people showing love there. Uncensored, flaggers can't do nothing. Not that I'm gonna get flagged or nothing, but at the end of the day, website's monetized. Why not put my lives there, right? But we're about to blast off with the Jasmine Elin update. You may be surprised. You might not. Be. I'm not surprised. I told you, this is a flaggy waggy. Y'all run yourselves in the grave following fake news. You see what we doing? We building. 100,000 strong. And what? Planet of Fakes. What up? We came too far. In the darkest days. Don't know where we are. Or who we are. Yeah, we came too far. Team no friends. Cause they no caskets got bunk beds. Fuck, I need friends for. Yeah, we came too far. Either down or you're not. In the darkest days. Don't know where we are. And who we are. And don't know monkeys. Ever stop my show. I am the show. Don't know where we are. Where we are. Oh, who we are. Overdosing on the same damn pills. Trying to, but can't get no deal. Struggling just to pay one bill. Wishing you had a uncle. Feel rob him. If you got a kill, make sure he don't get up those hills. Time for me to get on one more drill. Won't stop till we hit one mil. Bitch, you know what I'm talking. So move the ass and stop watching. It's your new job, so clocking. I'm a boss, my bad if I'm barking. I come straight from Road Boston. It's the same old road I be crossing. It's the same step I'm always walking. Don't run up my end up. In a coffin, you will never, never catch, catch me, me lacking. lacking. Me and my niggas stay packing. I'm time to shit that I'm rapping. So I want to just that know that you catch me lacking. Me and my foreign. That bitch is dumb cause she boring. Most these girls now just toxin. And I hate to say it, but they coming. Niggas have no bread in their pocket. But be the ones backing often. Y'all see design, I be rocking. Of course, y'all eyes is stalking. Now the last one that's laughing. While y'all niggas just chatting. Y'all talking about this blasting, but we know y'all niggas. Niggas just acting, yeah, we came too far, in the darkest days, don't know where we are, or who we are, yeah, we came too far, in the darkest days, don't know where we are, or who we are, yeah, we came too far, in the darkest days, don't know where we are, or who we are, yeah, we came too far, in the darkest days, don't know where we are, who we are Tired of dealing with the same old shit Pass the spliff, I need one more hit Still driving with no permit Ain't drunk, but I'm trying to get lit She told me that I could hit Told her I ain't trying to come in She took out, but her tits Need bed, don't need that no to my mama. Time to go focus on commas Choose to be one of our drama I yeah, I'm a holler Pull up on court with a what mama Oh, how the fuck that I want it? You know that I gotta Make it for all my fucking brothers Pullin' shit up, look up by my head Straight to the Bahamas Don't jack down, I'm a scammer Coming up the whole lot of hanging on, on like a hanger trying, trying to see all, all the ops dead. dead. Spending world always in my head, seeing city make it spread. Yeah, heard what the fuck I said. All my niggas full and fair, that's what's my dead. I'm just trying to be ahead, make it back home in the bed. Shot out Gene and Red, niggas be taking off heads. I'm just trying to get this bed left. That yeah, we came too far. In the darkest days, don't know where we are, or who we are. Yeah, we came too far. In the darkest days, don't know where we are. Shout out to King Ben for this. Let's start it off with a Mississippi prison riot riot update. I believe the mayor addressed the state and the nation. So let's check that out. Shout out to King Ben for that. We're getting into this. Shout out to Queen Prissy B, Kijin. It's me, V, Miss Don Diva, and everybody else. Death to you, traitors. To them, we talked earlier today about any prescription medication that the inmates may need uh, so that we can bring that uh, to them and make sure that we have a plan going forward, not only for their care, but also the protection of the guards that work there, the employees of the 
Department of Corrections uh, is my or my first concerns uh, there within that correctional facility. It has been a tragic week. Uh, gangs not only uh, take lives within uh, correctional facilities, but on the streets of Jackson. Uh, we had uh, uh, intense uh, work by all of our law enforcement officers throughout the last several years concentrating on gangs in the capital city and throughout the state of Mississippi. They are a real threat. They continue to be a threat. Uh, someone asked earlier who's responsible for what's happening at Parchman. The inmates. The inmates are the ones that take each other's lives. The inmates are the one that fashion weapons uh, out of metal. The inmates are the one that, uh, that do the damage to the, the, the very uh, rooms that they are living in there. So uh, I would say you look to the inmates. Uh, there is no uh, one that's perpetrating them to commit crimes with inside those uh, walls of the penitentiary. Uh, we are going to stop it. We have it under control as best we can. Prisons are difficult to manage uh, under the best of circumstances. So we need more personnel. Obviously, it would be better if we had more people working in the prisons. At $25,000 a year to work in parchment, it's not always easy to find the people that want to dedicate themselves to a career in corrections. We need to work on that. We need to fix that. Uh, and so we'll move forward with a plan of how that we uh, can not only maintain currently uh, the standards that we expect at parchment, uh, custody and control of the inmates, uh, but also, what does the future look like? What does the next four years look like uh, for the Department of Corrections and improvements must be made? Uh, the, the cell phones, that videos, what I found so staggering, we've seen these in county jails. Yeah. But these guys have cell phones and they're putting social media out from inside the prison. It, it, uh, they are not now, but you were, they were. Uh, and, and, and again, someone is bringing in those cell phones, so uh, we have ongoing investigations to try to identify how they got those cell phones, how they're getting other contraband into the prisons, and people will be held accountable. It is against the law to bring something into a prison that's not legally, should not legally be um, uh, held Again, by a prisoner. Again, I told you on POTFS, so we live over here, y'all can stay over there, watch charged it. If we can identify them, and we are working hard to make sure that we have the capability of doing that and stopping contraband from coming back into the prison. No, that $25,000. 20, you, you tweeted, uh, I think it was yesterday, that there needs to be investments made into the corrections system. Do you no, wish 2020, that... 20, I've been saying that for the past four years. Um, I, I, you can look back at when we made presentations to the budget committee and saying you've got to invest in the prisons. We passed criminal justice reform so we could try to move some of those nonviolent offenders out to make more room for the really violent offenders that need to be there. But this is a whole new level. When you look at the capital city, and we've had some 78 murders in 2019, uh, and so we had five tragic losses of life uh, within the Department of Corrections. But this capital city has almost 80 people that have been murdered. Gangs are a real threat. Not only do we need more support within the Department of Corrections, but law enforcement needs all our support to be able to stop uh, the gang activity that's going on each and every day on the capital streets and in our prisons. You're blaming the city of Jackson, the streets. You also say that they're, they're not being funded. I'm not blaming, I'm stating a fact. The fact is there's been 79 murders in the state of Mississippi in Jack in the state of Mississippi's capital city in Jackson in 2018. That's a, that's a fact. Most Unders of it is, dr it, is sorry, drug Governor. related and gang related. Understanding that once they get to parchment, it's then the state's responsibility to take care and of them. And I got a whole nother Have you been life taking care already of them prepared. Despite I may do it later. I may not. You say gang affiliations, things of that nature. King of content. You know, you but, can take care of people that want to comply to the rules. Uh, when you fashion weapons to try to intimidate and kill and murder uh, to the people other still inmates, donating, uh, contributing, it is difficult editing for us pages, uh, running to groups, always manage that stories. at 100%. Thank you. It's you always appreciate it, and we are in here. Is there a problem within our prison system now that needs to be addressed? There, there's always been a problem within the prison system. When you're trying to manage, the parchment has 3,500 inmates. When you're trying to manage 35 inmates, many of them are violent inmates. Uh, that's a problem. I, I've, I've been in correctional facilities. I've worked in jails. It is not easy under the best of circumstances. There's not a, a state in America that won't tell you that they need more correctional officers, that they need more prisons. Um, the escalating uh, crime problem continues, and we're managing it, I think, as well as we can under the current circumstances. Should Mississippi comply with a federal investigation if one is deemed to be appropriate? Yeah, uh, we're conducting an investigation just now. If somebody wants to come in and provide assistance to that, I would, I would certainly welcome it. 
I would also encourage them to begin the investigation on the streets of the capital city and, and throughout the state of Mississippi to try to apprehend more of these criminals that are involved in gangs and are starting at even an earlier age. Can you shed light in on the gangs that the we're new finding? Domestic terrorism. The DOC has not provided a lot of information about specifics. You know, I really can't. Uh, uh, there's an investigation going on, and whenever that occurs, we are trying to be um, as open as we can be without giving away information that the other side might be able to use. And that's the other thing. There's some irresponsible reporting going on, uh, picking up uh, some videos that inmates are putting out. Uh, and saying this is factual, and, um, and w what you're doing is when you report that, encouraging other inmates. They want to be on social media. They want you to show their videos, and that's going to encourage them to do it more and more and encourage them to be even more violent. They get gratification by the fact that you're paying such great attention to them. You're making them stars. Why hasn't, and they're convicts. Why hasn't there been more investment into the prison system? You said it yourself, 25000 is it enough it, to it, live? It, it is, and, and I guess that'd be a question for some in the appropriations process. Um, but it, it, it doesn't seem as if people care a whole lot about prisons until something goes wrong. But Governor, with respect, hmm. you were lieutenant governor for four years and in charge of the budget, and you've been governor for eight years and have signed these budgets repeatedly. How come you haven't made this more of an issue? It's been said time and time again by it, multiple It has been, and I've made it an issue when I meet with the appropriations chairman. Um, we made it an issue when we passed criminal justice reform. If you remember, we offered a bill that said, let us keep a portion of the money that we can save through criminal justice reform and reinvest it. Um, the legislature chose not to do that. Um, there's a lot of things that the governor can do, but I can't manage every appropriation bill uh, to my desire. You have veto right, power, though, much, sir. We have veto power, but if you remember, you have to veto much of the budget if you veto a portion of it. Governor, you mentioned Unit 32. I was thinking that that was a unit that had initially been closed a few years back or condemned. It, it is was, it secure now? It, it is secure now, and, and 32 has individual sales, so it was important. And, and I'm not saying that 32 will be open for an extended period of time. We have a plan, and we'll discuss that later on. Um, but it, it was important that we uh, localize those inmates in individual sales, and 32 was the only ability uh, that we have at this time to do that. Were you confident in your leadership over at MDOT? I am. Uh, uh, let me tell you again, um, it's easy to stand back and say what you ought to be doing when you're managing a prison <laughs> under these conditions. Uh, it is a very difficult job to do. Uh, I think they've uh, done a really good job over the years, over the last eight years, under very difficult circumstances and with, without the personnel that they truly need. And again, it's hard to find individuals who want to go in at $25,000 a year and work within the Department of Corrections. Is this the first problem they need to address starting the new session? I think it's one that we will we are addressing now. So we are addressing it now. I've briefed uh, both the incoming uh, Lieutenant Governor and incoming Governor about it. So we are uh, looking to find better solutions uh, as we speak. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Aye. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, the meals necessary to them, we talked. He said nothing. Let's check out um, Dominique Williams, lawyer. Just, we're going to check her out a little bit. I got a video coming we're going to watch. We're going to watch two videos. They're about 30 minutes apiece. I'm going to let them play all the way through probably. So this should be smooth, especially if it's not a big chat. Shout out to a not a big chat. Plan of the fix, king of content in here. And it's a wonderful 2020. Shout out to just everybody. <laughs> Shout out to my Umbrella POTFS subscribers showing me love over there. POTFS views and opinions of people showing me love over there on the 24-hour network. Shout out to y'all. This Dominic Williams lawyer, we just gonna be checking out videos just so we could get a little bit of her personality. Y'all rocking with the real to the seventh power best umbrella in here. 2020 what? That's enough. Guys, if your lawyer tells 
interview, do not talk to people about your case. Do not talk to people about your case. Whether it's over the jail phone, whether if it's your mom, whether if it's your friend, whether if it's the cops, do not share information, whether you're whispering or whether it's on the phone, to anybody except your attorney. Because if you share it with the wrong person, all that whispering can be used against you. Stay tuned in to me, Ashley Lawrence on Instagram and the law offices of Chicago Ross on Facebook. So I can teach you how to be quiet. Just heard that, so she could teach you how to be quiet. Let's look at this next video. Yep, let's look at this next video. So she could teach you how to be quiet, right? Guys, if your lawyer So she could teach you how to be quiet, she said, right? Let's check out the next one. Attorney Shaquille Ross from She Law Firm. So you're probably wondering, what is this in my hand? A lot of you guys have been asking me to really break down what happened with 6 9 What happens when you snitch? I have a lot of clients where this what happens, happens when you See, snitch. See, in the street, you guys call from it snitching not talking or miss 48. But in the legal realm, it's called a proper statement. I'm going to be breaking this down. What else is it called? What can you be given? Can you be offered immunity? If you snitch on your boys and they try to bring down the top guy, is there something that you need to sign? Is it considered a proper statement? Statement. What do you need to do? I'm going to break this down. This is a touchy subject, but I did not leave you guys hanging and I wanted to drop some knowledge on you. Stay tuned in to oh, me. Oh, she's going to show you how to make a proper statement. On Facebook while I teach you about testimony, snitching, and proffers. Oh, she's going to teach y'all about snitching. Oh. Hey, yes, indeed. It is she, attorney. Bless the queen. Law firm. So you're probably wondering, what is this in my hand? Bless a the lot queen. of you guys have been asking me to really... Bless the mother faking queen. She gonna teach y'all about snitching. Y'all heard it straight out the horse's mouth. But, you know, that's nothing. Again, she's a legal beagle. I don't expect her to be illegal publicly. You understand? So... Hey, yes indeed, it is she, attorney Shaquille Ross from Shaquille Law Firm. Just got another case dismissed. Let, let, let me just go ahead and read it to you. Aggravated assault. Just got another, another case dismissed. Imprisonment, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. What? Dismiss? Dismiss. Can I, can I, can, 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 can I go through dismiss? Okay, first, let's go ahead and talk about this. The foregoing motion, having been read and considered, it is hereby granted and this case will be dismissed. How do you feel about that? I feel well. Bless and holy Snitching, oh, huh? Bless How many of y'all think that's snitching? Put it in the I comments later at the out. website. <laughs> she love her. Always there for you. Oh, you got to hit it with Looking the like Buju Bonton. Get it right. Bye. You may look like Buju Bonton. We all know how he got out. We just gonna run through these. I want y'all to, you know, feel her personality. And let me know if you think she'd do a side easy or not. Cause when I first saw, her, I thought she was really, really animated. But I see she stays on that level. Attorney Chappelle Ross from Sheet Law Firm. Guys, you're probably wondering, why do I have this gun in my hand? This is to illustrate the steps and the tips and what you need to do to protect yourself under Georgia law and how to actually get your Georgia weapons carry license. So look, you need to be able to have a Georgia driver's license or a county registration driver's license. Go down to your local probate court in Fulton County is 185 Central Avenue. Make sure you present your license. Also, get the application. It's $69.75. Then they'll send you across the street to the police station. You'll pay $5 to them. They'll run a background check. Well, look here. If you're a convicted felon or you have a warrant, it will be no getting a gun. You will be getting locked up. Stay tuned in to me at She Law Office on Instagram and the law offices of Chappelle Law so I can teach you about the gun law. All right. I like that one. Hey, yes indeed, it is she, attorney Shaquille Ross from She Law Firm, or am I an attorney today? Guys, we're getting ready to go to court. Have you ever been to court and you're looking around and you can't tell who the lawyer is or who the client is? There's a proper decorum for court. I know all lawyers will appreciate this one. We call our clients and we say, hey, wear a shirt, a tie, or for women, wear a dress, and they show up wearing Mickey Mouse pajamas. Hmm. 
Oh, and don't forget about the lawyers who wear the Ugg boots. And the tag sticking out right where you can see them, because right on I-1. I'm going to return it tomorrow. And guess what? And I don't have any money. I used all my money on the weed man, so what? But there's still a proper way that you should dress for court because you're going before a judge who's going to dr judge you. Guys, stay tuned in to me. We're going to break this down in a skit, the do's and the don'ts with how to behave and how to act in court. Stay tuned in to me at She Law Office on Instagram and the law offices of Shaquille Ross on Facebook. I'm not going into court with you. I'm going to hit you with a bye. It's embarrassing. All right. Good morning, Judge. Shaquille Ross on behalf of John Brown. Judge, if you could just give me a, a second. Judge, I think my client has on Mickey Mouse pajamas. M Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown. Judge, judge, give me a second. Yes. Mr. Brown, you have on Mickey Mouse pajamas. My staff told you to dress properly for court, which would be a shirt, tie, and slacks. <coughs> you have uh, Ugg boots and a tag on your stuff too, ma'am? Okay, but I'm getting ready to take this back tomorrow and I'm your lawyer. Okay, and don't you have a dress code as a lawyer? Okay, you have a hat on that says swerve and you were caught swerving with the cocaine in the car. How do you want the judge to, to, to look at you? There's a proper decorum that you should be wearing in court. Listen, I love Disney. Mickey Mouse is the bomb.com. I just came from Disney World. It's the only thing I got left since my baby mama done left me, okay? Okay. Can you give me a break? I, judge, I, we're, we're ready. quick second this next video we're watching is a 30 minute video on this attorney i believe it is the attorney y'all rocking with the real to the seven follow best this is jasmine elin update didn't it just disappear off the radar you know why that happened because these don't be real cases fake news and i'm gonna show y'all it's fake news who else gonna ain't no views in exposing fake news Shout out to all the KJ zombies. Flip flopper extraordinaires. All right, I think I did it. Let me make sure. Twenty twenty. Hey Keejan, what's up, Queen? Welcome, Queen. If you can't, can you share this in the groups? I got Jasmine in a little already. Just not playing on the fake. We're about to watch, we just watched Dominic's lawyer. We're about to watch some more. The video's not ready yet. I don't want to jump the gun. I do have another video on YouTube of her. We can check that out while we wait for this other video to get ready. And I don't know what idea y'all got of her already, but she seems very um, high-spirited, I will say that. I don't got no problem with her. She seemed pretty cool. Especially after this video I show you right here, I kind of liked her. Like, oh, she's cool. Don't mean she she won't run a sigh up on us. I don't trust no lawyers. They can't tell you what a state is. I ain't fucking with you. You work for the government, but you can't tell me what a state is with a source? Get the fuck out of here. You're going in a FEMA camp. Because that's against the law. You can't work for the state and not know what a state is. That's fucking treason. How the fuck you gonna defend the Constitution and you don't even know what a state is? Come on, dog. <clears throat> they might say a state means a butcher house and we're all their cattle. So now you gotta protect their property. Who's their property? The cattle. Yeah, we came too far In the darkest day Real to the seven power best where we are For who we are Yeah, we came too far In the darkest day Don't know where we are For who we are Yeah, we came too far In the darkest day Don't know where we are For who we are Yeah, we came too far In the darkest day The corporation 
Hi, what up, y'all? POTFS Global News and Planet of the Fakes Drugs here. I wanted to just do a quick video letting people know about weed being legal or decriminalized in Jamaica. Yes, a lot of people think weed is legal in Jamaica. That is not the case. It has been decriminalized in small amounts, but large amounts are still get you jail time. And nobody wants to go to a Jamaican jail. Nobody. It's one of the hardest type jails out you understand jamaican jails you ever seen prison break when they had them in panama that is a luxury prison break with the schofield i so remember that tv show in jamaica be careful what you plan on purchasing and what you have on your persons while being a tourist because it can land you in a jamaican jail if the amount is too much so i hope you enjoy this video if you don't start when i stop talking click the link in the description what you heard and saw was the content for additional content yes, click the link in the description like follow share subscribe comment hit the bell visit my community wall and if you have time go to www.amore-ica.com backslash tv visit our 24-hour channel POTFS yes, views and opinions we are the new umbrella corp yes this we is are 2020 Planet of the Fakes Drugs, and Pig, Star, H, H, News, what you need to know about smoking weed legally in Jamaica. More than 40 years after reggae legend Peter Tosh sang, legalize it, Jamaica is finally recognizing the economic potential of its homegrown industry. Licensed medical dispensaries are popping up all over the island, but with the government opting for the decriminalization of ganja rather than full legalization, many questions remain. Here's what you need to know about smoking weed legally in Jamaica. Smoking weed in Jamaica has been decriminalized but not legalized copyright Peter Getty Images. Clearing the air. For many tourists, marijuana has long been an important if spoken part of the Jamaica experience. Known universally in I'm the country as ganja or to Rastafari adherents, marijuana can seem as Jamaican as Bob Marley or Usain Bolt. Touts whisper in the ears of tourists straight off the cruise ship to offer them a smoke, while vendors openly sell pre-rolled spliffs at dance hall street parties I. And downtown Kingston, until recently, possession of even small amounts of ganja could land visitors in jail. But a wholesale revision of drugs laws has seen all that change. Jamaica has decided that ganja is very much part of the country's brand and the potential tax revenues from a homegrown industry. not even know that. Try aren't something to be passed up. In 2015, the Jamaican government passed a series of important amendments to the Dangerous Drugs Act, decriminalizing ganja and introducing licenses for its cultivation and sale. But decriminalization isn't quite the same as full legalization, so what are the implications for visitors to Jamaica? Know the law. Since 2015, possession of up to 2 ounces 57 grams of ganja is no longer a criminal offense. Carrying this amount in public can still attract a fixed penalty fine similar to a parking ticket of 500 Jamaican dollars, around 3 United States dollars, but no criminal $3. record will result. You get caught with People weed under the age of 18 caught in possession may also be referred to the National Council on Drug Abuse for Counseling. Possession of larger amounts remains a criminal offense. The possession fine does not apply to medical I'm marijuana, including products purchased at a licensed content. dispensary. Possession of up to two ounces of weed by visitors for medical purposes is legal. Possession is also legal for sacramental purposes for followers of Rastafari. Smoking ganja in a public place is prohibited, as it is with cigarettes, with a fixed fine of 500 Jamaican dollars. It is legal to smoke in licensed dispensaries, but smoking in private residences is no longer an offense. You might also like, how to smoke weed in Canada. The number of medical marijuana dispensaries is growing in Jamaica copyright Angela Weiss, AFP, Getty Images. Medical marijuana dispensaries. Jamaica's revised drug laws have allowed the creation of medical marijuana dispensaries, the first of which opened. D in 2018, Equal Parts Doctors Clinic, Amsterdam Style Coffee Shop and Hipster Boutique, these are currently the only places where travelers to Jamaica can legally buy cannabis products. At the time of writing, there are four dispensaries in Jamaica, Island Strains in Montego Bay, Epican in Kings, Tun and Kaya in both Falmouth and St. Anne's Bay. To buy products, ID such as a passport or driving license is required, over 18 only, as well as proof of your medical need to buy ganja. This can take the form of a doctor's prescription from home or a consultation with an on-site medic, although some. Dispensaries currently allow self-certification by the completion of a medical self -certification. form. Self-certification. A variety of products are offered, including marijuana buds, oil extracts, and cartridges for vaping. 
The new dispensaries take ganja cultivation as food. Is it legal to smoke weed out here in, um, in, the, in uh, Jamaica? Somebody told me it was legal. Tell me about this. Is it really legal to smoke weed out here in marijuana? If I have some marijuana, would you arrest me? Under eight ounces. Under eight ounces. Under eight, under eight, 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 eight ounces. Like personal use. Yeah, for personal. Okay, cocaine. Whoa, you get that for cocaine. Okay. I just see. Under eight ounces. Okay, so like personal use. So y'all yeah, heard it here first. I don't know if any of y'all ever seen Jamaican police. There you have it. You normally see the military. When it comes to Jamaica. All right, what up, y'all? I'm like that fix here. A lot of y'all been asking, what's my cash app? Here it goes. Let's get into festivities, shall we? We got 30 minutes and another 30-minute joint. Let's run through it. One of my favorites, Queen Barbara. Shout out to Huff, Frank, and JG. Now, this is not new. This is old. Just to catch us up on Dominic Williams. You might not know, but Barbara is justice for Dominic Williams. So what other spokesperson or online investigator should I use other than Barbara? You know I mess with Barbara. But yeah. I'm still alive. Christopher, Tamara, <clears throat> Dorothy, Cam Denae, Lysander, Phyllis, Charmaine, Alice, Alicia Rowley, hey, Shanita, what's up, girl, girl, what's up, Jenny, Tasha, Lance, Doing that. Feel like LL Cool J around the way, girl. All right, all DMX, right, all right, what they y'all. Really want from a ninja. We all about to look at this together. Thank you, Queen Barbara. I missed this. Let's say two fifty-three. Let's say six minutes. <laughs> Hi everybody. I just woke up. I had nightmares because I was threatened. <laughs> I lie. I got a lot going on here, y'all. I got a new tripod. I'm trying to figure out how the shit works. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, let me see. I'm trying to tell you, y'all. It's like robotics over here. Shit. That's bullshit right there. Let me see. Let me see. Ooh, yep. We finna watch this. If I have to hold it, I'll hold it. Why are we actually here, though? In fact, after... Shut up, lady. The actual... I didn't press the play I am inside of the room... The main thing is that Let the police were not called. In Let that hoe up there talk. Hold on, lady. Hold on, lady. I wasn't ready to play y'all. 
Guess I'm gonna have to hold the phone. Yeah, I'm trying. I, I got that a like new, button, I, please. I got a new tripod, y'all. Y'all don't want to see what it looked like. It looked like a robot for real. And I, this is my first time trying to hold it in this sense. So let's see what we got. Let's see. Good morning. My name is Shaquelle Ross. I am an attorney here in the Atlanta, Georgia area. I want to talk to you a little bit about who I am as an attorney. I represent truth. I represent honesty. I represent character. I represent injustice, those who have been falsely accused. I have represented numerous clients from NFL players to celebrity artists to artists to football players and also other club involving incidents. I have been chosen to represent Dominique Williams. When I say Dominique Williams, this goes to the incident that occurred at Opera Nightclub here in Atlanta, Georgia, involving a young woman by the name of Jasmine Island. So let's just talk a little bit about this. This brings us to this case and the reason why I'm actually here. Now, the goal is about truth. The goal is about evidence. The goal is about facts. Let's talk a little bit about the facts of this case. It's at a nightclub. It's, at, it's dark. People are partying. People are having a good time. There was an incident that occurred. The facts of this case show that people are dancing. The facts of this case show that nothing happened. The facts of this case show that people standing around were not alerted when it comes to an assault, a sexual assault, or an actual rape. The facts of this case do not show that something occurred or that my client took Miss Island off and there was no distress. The facts of this case show that those standing around did not alert, call the police, get attention to a bodyguard, or stop any acts that occurred because there were no acts that actually occurred. Now, my client did not take Miss Island off to a room. There's witnesses and evidence that shows that there was aid being given by that room. The facts of this case do not show that my client led her off, abused her, misused her, or raped her, or sexually assaulted her. The facts of this case show that it was a cons consensual dance at the beginning. So why are we actually here though? In fact, after the actual taking her to the side of the room, the main thing is that the police were not called. In fact, Miss Jasmine Island entered a twerk contest. Not yes, only did she, she did. dance afterwards with my client, she got on stage when she heard her song play and entered a twerk contest. Yes, there were she several did. people around that even tried to pull her skirt down so that way she would not show her goods Vagina, to the public. Vajay, the facts of this case is that afterwards, she went to eat with other guys. The facts of this case was that she has admitted that there was not a rape. My client has been crucified and my client has been convicted in the media. So I'm here to get down to the bottom of this. And I do think the evidence will show otherwise that this was not a rape. I do believe and I do understand that sexual assault is a sensitive issue when it comes to the Me Too movement. But this is not about he too. This is not about my client being accused of rape because there was no rape. I do believe the evidence in this case will show that he assisted her, he aided her, he danced consensually with her. Moreover, my client and I have been in full cooperation and communication with the police department because we are trying to get to the truth at that as well. And I do believe that the evidence will show otherwise. But get this, oh, that's not my, there's been no I was about to say, if that lawyer got a fire, to smoke make an detector arrest beeping, a I'm firing her. No probable cause or warrant that exists right now to make an arrest on a sexual assault. No probable cause or warrant to make an arrest on any type of sexual battery, sexual assault, or any type of sexual crime. And that is the truth. And that's why we're here today, to get to the bottom of the truth. So right now I wanna open it up to questions. I know you guys are probably wondering and waiting for me to answer any questions. So I wanna say thank you and I'll give the floor to you guys. Attorney Ross, you've kind of laid out some of um, the allegations of what had happened at the nightclub. So did you see the video? Yes, I've actually seen the video. So something did happen? 
Well, I've seen the same video that everybody else has seen. I have seen it over and over. Uh, I have a social media team combing through social media. I have We're putting together all the different videos. We're cooperating with um, the police they, department. They saw mine. Not necessarily that something <laughs> happened, but I'm saying that I've seen the same well, video. Let me change what my I can clothes. tell you what didn't happen I'm changing was my a rape. Clothes. What I can tell you what didn't happen was a sexual <laughs> assault. That's what I could tell you. What I could tell you that is not going on right now is a warrant from the police department or an actual grand jury warrant from the district attorney's office. No I'm charges have been filed based on that it's a whole video. different season. Your client, Mr. Williams, was, has been accused of drugging the alleged victim. Do you have any facts behind that? I, just like I said, the video, we've seen the video several times. There's no fact, fact, that my client actually drugged this young woman. My client doesn't do drugs. My client has served in the military. My client has custody of his pause, children. Pause, my client doesn't pause, buy drugs or pause, do drugs, so he wouldn't pause, drug anybody pause. else. So there's no facts that support that my client drugged this young woman and there's what no probable cause. Do we got another military involved? Didn't I just bring up to y'all that the majority of these non-real stories, militaries involved, do Y'all need a reminder. Let me put my chat down for a second. Don't forget, hit that dollar sign POTFS. Donate to the site. It's where my weed money has to go sometimes. But let me remind y'all. Oklahoma bomber, right? He was in the Army. The 9-11 dude was allegedly trained by what? The U.S. whoever... The jet school veterans, I'm, that's army related to me. If you got veterans training you how to fly planes and then you fly one into the building, hey, that's army to me. Joshua Brown. Yeah, Joshua Brown, your boy Botham Jeans people. He has some type of military history. Let's get into Teresa. Remember I told you those court documents, she needed a active or non-active duty military form in order to, I guess, appear in front of a civil judge. So she has a little army, her little niece is in the army, Jeanne, that she mentions every now and then, attractive woman. We got Taylor Williams, Alabama, just remember she just showed up in Alabama, military. It goes on and it goes on. Malia Davis, grandfather, who they claim was dead, but we can't find no record of his death from Guam, was military. Yes, he was. You see all this military shit? They just pop it up. Military, 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 military. It's more. It's a lot more. And they just wanted to just seem coincidental. But ain't that something? Ain't that something? It didn't happen was a sexual assault. That's what I can tell you. What I can tell you that is not going on right now is a warrant from the police department or an actual grand jury warrant from the district attorney's office. No charges have been filed based on that video. Your client, Mr. Williams, was, has been accused of drugging the alleged victim. Do you have any facts behind that? I, just like I said, the video, we've seen the video several times. There's no fact fact that my client actually drugged this young woman. My client doesn't do drugs. My client has served in the military. My client has custody of his children. My client doesn't buy drugs or do drugs, so he wouldn't drug anybody else. So there's no facts that support that my client drugged this young woman, and there's no probable cause to make an arrest of somebody actually drugging someone. Now, from this video, did did you go seek the client or did the client, Mr. Williams, come for his uh, looking for legal representation? For My client actually reached out to me. I believe I have been chosen for this, for this cause. There have been many out there who have been falsely accused of several things, sexual assault all the way to stealing. So I believe not only did God put it in his heart to choose me, I was chosen. I'm a woman. So he reached out to us. I did not know who he was. I did not know of the incident. He contacted us and we have been in full communication with him since. Holy moly. <laughs> She's justice for Dominic. Shout out to Queen. Holy Lord. moly. All right, y'all. The doors of the church is open. 
Let me quit. <laughs> Let me get out this damn robot ass tripod. Hold on. Robot ass tripod. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that like button, please. Let your presence be known. Wait a minute, y'all. It's like a robot. I gotta get the legs together, honey. Lord have mercy. We're going to figure this shit out. What I spent my money on. Ooh. Ooh, okay. There. That looks decent. Ooh. Jesus. <laughs> this motherfucking bro. <laughs> Good morning. It's morning for me, y'all. Ooh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> If y'all only knew what I'm going through. <laughs> this gonna have to work. Okay, let me see. Okay. <laughs> Shit, I want it straight. Can I just have it straight? <laughs> I'm about to fast forward. I just don't want to miss Jack. We gonna be crooked a little bit. Whew. What's up, y'all? What is up? What? Oh, Jesus, Akoya. Y'all. It's going down, ain't it? I she know rather not where they went and what happened. Christopher, you want to come to my live? Yeah, I heard it. What y'all got to say about this? Shit Alicia, is fake I know, as fuck. Girl. Shit is fake yes, as fuck. Yes, we need some coffee up in this bitch. I saw it was fake once I saw the You're video. Like, I said shit fake as fuck. And you know it's fake. There's no push to <laughs> freedom. What y'all got to say he's, about he's never this? in jail. Should be fake. In the court of public opinion, are you still seated where you were sitting in the courtroom? Shit is fake as fuck. He ain't out of jail yet, allegedly. Okay, Christopher. He was never in jail, man. Alicia, you say you still think she was raped. Oh my gosh, black man hater. Black man hater. Don't worry. Tasha, what you say? Look at your comment. I'm going to drop a bomb today. Yeah, it's going down. Hey, Roz. Roz, we had court this morning. And it was fun. Okay, Shelly. We can watch it again, Shelly. Here we go. It's only six minutes long. No, For those just tuning no, we in, we're about to watch it again. No, we could y'all share? No, we not. In fact, no, I'm not. taking a rest. No, we not. Tell you what I could test. No, we not. No, we not. Oh. Uh. Come mm. on now, mm. Barbara. Mm. Mm. Let mm. it out, mm. Barbara. Mm. Mm. Didn't I tell y'all I was going down? Yeah, I told you. Ah, uh, now Barbara's you military. This. Barbara it's is going military. Down. Meet me at the club. Speaking of the devil, Barbara's going down. <laughs> so, that's Dominique's lawyer. Anyone with any information, if you for Dominique, contact uh, <laughs> the law offices of Shaquille Ross. I ain't LLC. messing with her. I ain't messing with her. LLC. The fact that this case show that nothing happened. The fact bodyguard or th the facts of the the facts of this case taking her to the side enter the twerk play and enter the not show her good Why you bottom those of this bases, not about my client Are you making those moreover bases, no probable cause to make an arrest on a rape what you got to say barbara look at those faces she mm, 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 mm. <laughs> She locked it. Shout out to Barbara for defending Dominic. Shout out to Barbara for defending Dominic. And 
Don't you get uh, it? Dominic yes, and Dominic yes, yes. McKinney. I've been Dominic. Y'all, but that's dead because it had nothing to do with uh, none of this. Somebody threatened me because I blocked them. It's embarrassing. Just shows they need to be blocked. But I'm just speechless, everybody. We had court this morning. And y'all know it's always developing. Yes, LLC. <laughs> oh, my God. Law offices of Shaquille Ross, LLC. <laughs> LLC. And it's a number you can call, too, I think. I don't know. Uh... I, it's a post somewhere in my my inbox, but... Drop a bomb today. Wait for it. I told y'all this stuff here changes overnight. Told y'all to put me on C first. You want to see it first. I got to do that my damn self. Yes, you do, do. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, if you haven't seen the video from this morning, y'all please go back and look. Because it was going down. I had so much fun. Y'all, Y'all really did that. Now look, um, I ain't finna be bothered with y'all with this all, <laughs> all night. Cause this is just crazy. It's getting hysterical. It's just getting hysterical. It's not a, it's actually coming from this side of the camp. It's really not, um, zoo-like, animal-like. It's really not. Now from the other side. Jasmine. Baby. It's rough. So, I just wanted to share that bit of information with y'all. I heard some police got shot. I fell asleep on the justice for EJ I was sharing. I don't know. I was Manuel, knocked out. I don't know what my phone Alabama. been doing while I was asleep. I woke up and it was dead in my lap. So, I don't know what's been getting shared on my page without my knowledge. But, everybody, I'm going to continue to, um, damn, is it snowing in Chicago? Mm. It is. I'm going to continue to share any um, information that I get on, um, shit, I don't know if we're saying justice for Jasmine or justice for Dominique. Which one are we doing? Oh, she got to go What the, the hell middle. are we doing? She know damn well she's justice for Dominique. I don't know. Justice for the club? <laughs> I'm not going to say justice for Jasmine. I'm just I, not. I I'm on you. the defense side I of the room right now. I told you. Right now, I'm saying justice for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. She don't want to lock I gotta find a name for this with case here. If you ain't messing with Jasmine, who you messing with? Um, what was the name of that damn club? It started was a. It started with an O. I forgot the name of that bullshit. Too. I know oh. Val. It started with an O. Club, what was it, y'all? Yeah, that bullshit. Club or Orphan. <laughs> Club Orphan. Hey, Eric. A girl, don't nobody know if that girl in the hospital. We don't know all of that. Opera. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, Opera. Club Opera. I can't even find Trill's see, bands on my to Instagram think of a name anymore. She was supposed to have the baby by case. now. I want to confirm it was a fake pregnancy. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Club I want to confirm it was a fake pregnancy. Fake pregnancy just to make American women really look Ooh. ratchet doing splits. And yeah, I guess a we pregnancy don't call it she club showed on opera, Facebook. It was, she was forcing a pregnancy. So if y'all see anything um, with that heading on it, it's they either them, justice. They closed those justice, social no. media. It's up. either uh, something on Dominique or something on Jasmine. They disappeared. I'm, sh I'm showing everything over here. Let me also pause it. This is how I know f false flags. So I'm going to fuck they whole shit up right now. Stop giving foreigners your initial videos that you're trying to put out. Because just like all these other false flags, foreigners are the first ones to get interviews like Zach TV and all these other bullshits. Just like Jasmine Elin, Tanya TKO got the interview. These are not Americans that's getting the interview. That's another signal of a false flag. No different from Dominic 
His first interview was what, Gossip City? Some West Indian Jamaican lady? How West Indian Jamaicans get in American news before us? Start using your brains. But again, we got dozens of people following foreigners right now for that Kanika Jenkins with that MTV PSYOP. Go ahead, lose the rest of your brains. I don't care. We know we're around y'all still. I know yep, I just said Dominic I was and Dominic, that's Dominic, what I said. But you know, we still have to let the court we still have to let the court decide what's going on. If this shit even go to court. Y'all heard the lady say ain't no charges. Ain't no charges. Ain't no charges. Ain't no charges, Shantae. Yeah, right now there's no charges. And do y'all understand that? Do y'all know what that mean? There's no charges. So, so, there's no charges. Let me repeat, because I know there's zombies out there that don't know what fake news is or what's going on. Dominic allegedly been in jail since January 9th, 2019, and there's no charges. Barbara just said it four times. I just said it. I know y'all can play stupid, act like y'all don't see it, act like y'all don't hear it, act like y'all don't know what the fuck is going on. Y'all getting led into FEMA camps, using fake news to pass laws on y'all and have y'all demonize and stereotype yourself like y'all been doing. Knock yourselves out. You're not going to be here in 50 years. That pride, that fool's ignorance and all that shit y'all got in y'all, that shit going to take y'all out. Because y'all can't even work together. And... You're not smart enough to work alone. But good luck supporting all that shit y'all supporting. You got y'all far in 2020. Y'all think this shit is still real. I know it's fake. How the fuck is too early? For, excuse me, Shelly, I ain't cussing at you. But how the fuck is it too early for charges? And we have a video of somebody being raped. You can't see nothing in that bootleg video. They going off him spitting raped. on his hand. Spitting on your hand on video is now it's considered too early. rape. And they done been to the hospital and did a rape case. Rape kit? I mean, kit. How about that rape kit? Y'all ever got the results from that? Who ever seen the results from the rape kit? Let me know. Won't drop somebody that bomb today. help me? Can't somebody kit. help me? I'm dropping the rape kit. Me, me, me. I'm dropping the rape kit. Help me, y'all. James. Let's get the rape kit results today. I, I just want to know who all here talking about Donald Trump. Dominic just disappeared. Which he's never in jail. He's just like Dominic. He's just like Patrick Stallworth and Derek Show Brown and Darian Vince. They not in jail, dog. They fronting like they in jail. You holding a conversation about Donald Trump by yourself? This the second Even day Anaya I'm Even Anaya Blanche got about military Trump. involved. James. You know who's military? Let me see oh, this. They, he, they let him go. They let the military dude go. What was his name? Wimpy? Wimmy? Wimmy? James, I'm going to block Blanchard. the shit out of you. He got let go. Military. So quick. Military. I don't think Barbara got nothing to say, <laughs> but I don't want to miss nothing. <laughs> we got like four more minutes. I don't think she got nothing to say, but I don't so want to real. miss Nathan. I'm like, this is the second time I done seen something about Trump. Like, who, who talking about that shit? Don't play with me, James. <laughs> Show D, Rita. We're about to turn her off. I don't think she's going to talk about And they got, they done shot up some damn police. This. LLC. Shot up five of them, y'all. Y'all be laughing with that shit. Y'all, I'm finna leave y'all with that. Because I'm, hey. I'm not trying to go off on nobody or nothing like that. I gotta get, excuse me, I gotta get ready for work. I'm feeling fat. I need to exercise, all that. So y'all just take a little time, suck up this LLC. LLC. What was her damn name again? Hold on. 
from the law offices of Shaquelle Ross, LLC. <laughs> Shanita, LLC. Okay? <laughs> In Atlanta. Like and the, she's a black I like the woman. way she burned this half hour. Oh, see. Okay. It's going down. Mind you, there are no charges. What did she say? <clears throat> there is no pending charges. What did she say? There's no charges or pending charges. He's just in we'll jail. We'll see. He's just in jail. We'll see. I mean, Lord, just in they jail, spending no money and got all kind of shit. It's just crazy. Here in jail, no bail, fake news. Won't somebody help me? Won't somebody help me? Me. We done here. Shout out to Queen Barbara. Thank you for that, Queen Barbara. Hell Let's yeah! Get into main festivities. This shit out. Shout out okay. to Queen Barbara. Here go the results of the rape kit. Everybody was waiting for a drum roll, please. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Who that? Who that? Make it look easy, it's not. It'd be a whole bunch of people making it look like this. It's not easy, trust me. King of content. Here goes the results of the rape kit. Now, I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to just let you read the best you can read. You can look it up yourself. Now, in fake news, they could have gave you a fake rape kit, but it wasn't about a rape. It was just about the demonization of the black man, which was done. That's why... I got 14 people watching now, but everybody care about black women. But it's all good, because y'all don't know what y'all missing out on. And that's why y'all like the number ones missing right now. So whatever y'all doing, if that's preventing y'all from missing, I'm all about it. But let's get to this. We're probably somewhere talking about Trump. Dominic Williams, not a match to the DNA found in Jasmine. So she got her freak on that day with somebody else. And it wasn't her man because he wasn't in Atlanta. I don't know if y'all can read this. I'm going to zoom it in so y'all can see it and people watching this later can see it. Public records access dot Fulton County GA dot gov. If you got a better receipt than that, present it or forever shut your traitor lips. Go in and FEMA camps because you trust the people that's going to lead you there. Shout out to you. Again, shout out to you. Shout out to you, MTV, Viacom, all the motherfucking white media stations you and your kids trust. They're going to lead you in a FEMA camp. Just like they told you, planes hit the building. But y'all can basically see it. I'll read a little. Received the following evidence from the Atlanta Police Department sealed sexual assault evidence collection kit of Jasmine Morning sealed package containing blood on filter paper identified as connect as collected from patient Jasmine Morning, sealed package containing anal swabs, sealed package containing bucals oh buckle I don't know I thought that would probably be like I don't know bucal swabs identified as con yeah collected from Dominic Williams evidence data described in this report was developed. Using global filter PCR amp 
Amplification kit. Item ID, DNA, isolation procedures that resulted in and are reported as two separate fractions. Let's go up. It's just a lot of mumbo jumbo there. Think about it. He's supposed to still be in jail. He was never in jail. This shit is bullshit. This is a lie. The fake news continues. Fake news continues. But you know, every time you prove something it's fake news, motherfuckers act like they're nowhere around to see it. I know, that's why your, your ass gonna go into FEMA camp. And if you think your kids are smart enough to survive the future, how? You're not even smart enough to see fucking fake news now and you they parents. <laughs> you think your kids gonna survive the future? Yeah, all right. Anyway, the second fraction of the anal swabs from item 1D contained a mixture of DNA from at least two people. She is nasty, allegedly, on this paper she is. The genotype of Jasmine Morning was assumed in some calculations. A DNA match for Dominic, the second fraction from the anal swab from item ID and Dominic Williams is approximately oscillation time less probably than coincidental match. So they're just saying, you being a black man, they found a black DNA in there, but it, we can't say this it's his. Then a coincidental match to an unrelated person in the population, Dominic Williams is excluded from the second fraction from the anal swab from the item. No further conditions can be drawn from the second fraction from the anal swabs from items 1D, I got that shit blocked this time. It is possible for the application name casework system to provide additional conclusions from the second fraction, the anal swab from the item 1D receipt of adequate known samples from additional persons of interest. Meaning if, no, if she was raped and the suspect's still out there, they're saying person of interest. How about that? To really make us seem nasty. How about that to really make us seem like a dot queen, ratchet queen? But I'm not here to judge her. Told you fake pregnancy. Can't even find Trill's bands on Instagram anymore. What's this last little part at the bottom? Yeah, that's really nasty. But it could be fake swabs and all that shit anyway. They just put this out. So, you know, people won't be sweating him no more, his record, none of that bullshit. He probably won't even show us. His name ain't even Dominique. I told you, Gossip City's a foreigner. I don't trust no American news that come from foreigners. Y'all motherfuckers could do that shit. I ain't trusting new American news coming from foreigners. You should be ashamed of yourself. Listening to a foreigner tell you about your fucking news. You can't go to their country and tell them about their fucking news. They'll spit on your dumb ass. They'll laugh at your dumb ass. They come to America, y'all make them fucking rich, and they spit on your ass here. I've been watching it for two years. Say what y'all want. I know y'all bums. Y'all letting foreigners spit on y'all. Fuck out of here. Stay right over there with that shit, thinking y'all somebody. The world know who y'all are. The world see what they done to your ass. Anyway, let's continue. That's that. Dominic has no DNA on her. No charges pending. I want to see how they do that, right? It's fake. This shit is never coming up again. Watch. Y'all never going to hear about this shit again. Unless MTV do a true life lying ass fake news story. And if people think Anika Jenkins is real because MTV doing a show on it, then fucking 9-11 was real, motherfuckers. They did a 9-11 show. They did a 9-11 show. They did a Tupac show. They did a whole bunch of fucking shows of fucking fake news. Y'all got some nerve. Why you think they do shows? They did shows on your man that did the church, Dylan Roof. He getting a death penalty in fake news. You know the guy they bought Burger King after he shot up a church of nine people? Let's get to this next video. This is the main event. We are rocking with the real to the seventh power best planet of the fake. 2020, we still here. Why y'all hiding? 
Go make some KJ videos. Y'all done flip flopped him as J for K anyway. Go make some, go make some Trader Valley J for K videos. Go talk about Shamaya, Irene, and fucking Monifa's fake ass lives like everybody else for views. We doing real shit over here. Let's get into this Jasmine Eden update. Just came out today. Let's hear what this man gotta say. I rock with the real to seven power best king of content. What's up, everybody? Hope all is well. Listen, um, as I promised and said, I, ooh, dang it, I uh, was going to cover this story, and uh, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna do my best to be as professional as, <laughs> as possible. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, niece, what's up? Hey, Taylor. Hey, nieces. So, yeah, what up, uh, Let's hey, go ahead nieces. and talk about this case. So, I took my notes because I want to make sure that I cover this properly. So, as you we all know, we chill um, today, Kizzy. You know I we do. really wanted to touch on this situation we and this case with uh, And I got another Jazz live already Elin. prepared for later. Maybe in the AM. I don't know. It depends when I come back. Y'all, my volume is all the way up. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I wanted to really touch on this case with Jasmine Elin and Dominique Williams. So I went back. Hey, I went back. Can y'all hear me? And again, it's done me? today. Fresh off the Facebook can press. Can y'all hear me? No. Anybody else can't hear me? Okay, Dre says she can hear me. So uh, y'all may change clothes in the middle of the show. No, phone is fine. I don't have. Okay, everybody can hear me, so it's probably y'all phones. All right, let's just, y'all go ahead and get a new phone or get out of there, come back in there, boom, like this. So let's go ahead and do this. I love y'all. Y'all know I do. All right, let's do this. Let's go ahead and touch on this. So uh, one person I got to give a shout out to is Crystal Nicole, who really has been sticking with this story and a lot of the details that's been going on and really posting a lot of this stuff. She doesn't have a big old huge following, but I really do appreciate her as a woman keeping up with this story because a lot. Uh, I appreciate the queen as well. A lot of women They're trying to throw the are just under the bus siding with throw me Jasmine uh, Elin and saying that this man raped her, which has been really false. You know what I'm saying? And it's and it's really sad that this man is having to take the rap for a lie. You get what I'm saying? This man is having to take a rap Fake news. For, for something that did not happen to him. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. So Dominique, uh, Dominique Williams has been in jail on a live for over six months now. He's actually been in jail since he turned January himself January 22nd. In. Maybe. January 22nd of 2019. I want to say within the week he had turned himself in. Yeah, I may really have that seconds, incorrect, yo. but he had turned it's his, going on willing, one year. It's going on one year this he month. He Ubered himself to the police one station. One year this month. He Ubered himself to the police station. One year. And turned himself this in month. willingly. Now, let me just go ahead and make sure I get all these details because I wrote a lot of stuff down. Um, Jasmine Elin, her ex husband, lied to get money. Um, this was a whole scam, right? This whole little I got raped was one big scam that if you guys look at a lot of her videos, well, I have them because she took them down. If you look at the video, the video footage is footage that she had up. She took a lot of that stuff down because this is like her third time pulling this type of stunt. Third okay? time? <laughs> this is why I said this right here is going to be a men me too movement. They said Hashtag justice for Dominique Williams. 
Hashtag me and me too. Because it's really ridiculous. Okay. So um, there was a GoFundMe that was alleged for a lawyer that Jasmine had put up because she's told she wanted everybody to go fund her so she can have $6,000 for this lawyer. Well, really, the GoFundMe was to cover Lil Boosie to be on her ex-husband's track, okay? Oh! Uh, Cornell Wells was to be on the track. Oh, no, he did not. No, he did not say Jasmine Elin's lawyer money went to get Lil Boosie on Trill Band's album. How's that for? She was raped. Big bad black man raped her in the club. And she go to a twerk contest. All you ratchet queens. I'm going back to my live. I'm going back to my comments. So I could point and pick and pull every ratchet queen name out there and put it on a list every ratchet queen that supported jasmine elin from the beginning of this psyop to today y'all owe this platform an apology because i told you this shit was fake it's not a dominic in jail he's not in jail it's not real you should know it's not real if she got raped and was able to go on a twerk contest, but a ratchet queen? No. You can't tell somebody when to foul charges. They told me. Ratchet queen. Dot my lady. Dot my ladies and ratchet queens everywhere. That's why we small, because we don't go for your fucking oh. We got to stick together as women. Bullshit. That shit got y'all in a crab in a barrel mentality. And just because it's a lot of y'all fucking up, don't think fucking up's the move. Don't think fucking up's the move. Because there ain't no other demographic coming out here thinking fuck, fuck up is the move. They out here having, trying to get their shit together. No matter how much they may hang around y'all and play around, it comes an age where they know better and they've been raised better. Can we all say that? I can't say that for the women that believe this shit was real. After she done let y'all know it was fake time and time again. The friend came on, j Bug, that video, what, we had 60,000 on that. Husband came right out with a rap album, showed you about 10 to 20 lives on that. But people will still act like they in a real world getting real news and y'all real successful. Yeah, right. y'all some real fools. Let's continue, man. And I'm glad we got a small chat today. I don't need all that fake shit around me. Track, um, that he and they're from East St. Louis. All right, let me make sure I had that because I wrote some other stuff to go with that. Um, Planet of the Fakes, Real to the Seven Pubbles, best. All right. Um, and I got another live prepared. Jasmine was tested. Yes, that's what I needed to have that right there. Make sure I got this information. That's, that's the next part I need to get. Jasmine was also tested for STDs. She was not with, she didn't want to do a rape kit. Okay. She didn't want to do a rape kit. She had, and I'm on my other page because my other page, they're working on that. So, mm. um, Jasmine wanted to do a STD test. You remind she, me didn't want, she was not willing and she refused to do a rape kit. Okay. Right. So she refused to do a rape kit and she wanted to do an STD, STD testing. Um, um, they took nine tubes of blood and they did that for the toxicolo toxo tox toxology toxicology report because she said she was drugged with ketamine. The results for ketamine, 
The results came back negative and inconclusive for Kadami. She did not have Kadami in her system, and that was one of her posts. She said that she had she was drugged with a date rape drug, you see right? you and see. it was Kadami put in her her drink. This was uh, she went and got this test within forty eight hours. Now, if y'all remember, because I'm posting this stuff in Patreon, if you all remember. If you all remember correctly, when I show the post and the pictures of the the, uh, the drink, Get out of here. when she had the drink in her hand, you could see something that looked like a pill. They still well, so let's with pause that? for a second. If somebody puts a pill, a date a rape finger. drug, a date rape drug typically is powder. Now, if I'm wrong, y'all let me know I'm wrong. But a date rape drug, like why would somebody put a date rape drug in your drink? A that's pill that can float. Like, because you're going to see real. it. Yeah, come Does on. That make that's sense? how stupid okay. these people are. But, All right. You know, everybody so don't within be smart. that 48 hours, she went, refused a date, a, de, uh, uh, a rape kit. She wanted STD testing. The ketamine um, test, the toxicology came back. The ketamine that she said that was in her drink was false. She didn't. She was not drugged with ketamine. All right. Came back. The STD came back, and she had gonorrhea. Now she but said she had, she had gonorrhea in her puss. Okay, gonorrhea we, we having ratchet queen. She had Hold gonorrhea oh, no, in no, her no. vagina. No, 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 no. Got him. Doc Miladies, Ratchet Queen, front aisle, please. You support a Jasmine Eden, you got gonorrhea, you got an STD that you hiding from people. Next, you support a Jasmine Eden, you got gonorrhea, you got an STD, you're hiding from people. Next, you support a Jasmine Eden, you got an STD or gonorrhea that you're hiding from somebody. Fellas out there listening, before you sleep with these Doc Miladies and Ratchet Queens, Ask them if they ever heard about Jasmine Elin. If they say yes, see, we, all that shit, ask them how do they feel about it. If they come with their sweet little voice and you smell a perfume and all that little fruity shit they wash their hair with, and then they whisper in your ear, I believe she was raped. Get the fake out of there. She got an STD or gonorrhea. She's hiding from somebody. Get the fuck out of there. Because no clean woman, you hear me? I'm putting this in stone. No clean woman would support Jasmine Elin being raped doing a, thir uh, a twerk contest with no panties on. Pregnant. You know who'll do that? Got my ladies, ratchet queens, and YouTube chat rats. No, that's better. She had gonorrhea in her vagina. We ain't even gonna talk about what she got in her badunkadunk. She got something in her badunkadunk that's different. How she got multiples of STDs divided off in different body parts. What the fuck she got in her mouth? Syphilis? Syphilis in her mouth, gonorrhea in her JJ. We're about to find out what's in her bunky. Ain't this something? And it's probably not even true. It's probably just fake paperwork. Fake paperwork. Because remember, this is to demonize who? The American women. Don't you know Island is a foreign last name? But y'all not going to believe that that's foreign. Because there's too many foreigners, army, and all this other dumb shit. People don't know, because again, they only fucking got what? White education, white mainstream media, and they looking to fucking stand up to white standards. Good luck with that. But I thought she was sodomized in her booty, in her anus. So how do you get gonorrhea in your vagina, but you said the man sodomized you? Okay, so you see, that's a receipt. I just read the DNA rape kit. Uh, the anal swab said, nah, Dominic wasn't in there. Not true. Some other two dudes was in a vagina, JJ, but Dominic wasn't in her anal cavity. That's what the paperwork said. 
he just confirmed that she said she was sodomized. They have no DNA in there. They have no condom DNA. They have nothing. They have some other dude from the hotel or something. Does, are, are these facts adding up for y'all? I'm just trying Look to make sure face. everything is put out there for you. It, it, just, are we, <laughs> are y'all following me? Okay. So. Look at his face. Make sure I got this that. chicks is trifling. Why you think I had to boot so many and they still sweating me? All right. Day, so. Lying nobody. Uh, okay. Be nobody. She left ATL and was tested in St. Louis. Let's make sure we get that. We follow that right there. Y'all tracking with me? Ew. She did not get tested in ATL. She did not get tested in Atlanta. She got tested in St. Louis. So, after the... After Trill's Benz tossed her Sally, ate them groceries. Nasty. Ledge rape. <laughs> you didn't go to the hospital in, in Atlanta. You drove your alleged rape self to St. Louis and you got tested. Let me pause. Keiji, do you know who else comes from St. Louis not related to this story, but another fake story? St. Louis. St. Louis. St. Louis, St. Louis, St. Louis, St. Louis. With a black lies, but this ain't the story. That St. Louis is also where the Black Lives Matter activist's son allegedly hung himself. But let me see. Congratulations to all. No, ain't nobody to congratulate. You don't know who else is from St. Louis? Darian Vince is from St. Louis. Isn't that a coincidence? Darian Vince from St. Louis. But there's others from St. Louis, too. I forgot to pull that up. I ain't going to bring it up right now. I'm going to brown. St. Louis connected to another fake ass story people love. But we have St. Louis for Malia Davis because Darian Vince is from there. His brother shot there as soon as he got arrested. Darian Vince bail is 45000 because it's 45000 for each charge, but it's concurrent bond. You could pay for one and it pays like for the other. Forty-five thousand with a Bills bondsman, twenty-seven hundred. Yeah, I think he's in jail this long for twenty-seven hundred. BB made that the first day on GoFundMe. Stop playing with us, please. But Darian Vince is from St. Louis, so we have Darian Vince and Jasmine Elin and Charles Bands representing St. Louis. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? Mm -mm -mm. Ain't that something? So then I have to ask a question. Did you take a bath? Did, did you wash? Did you clean? Did, did you, you know what I'm saying? Did you do any of these things to yourself? Because that's also tampering with evidence. All right. So um, the ex-husband teamed up with Jasmine. The ex-husband teamed up with her to get money. Um, they saw this as a ploy and it was such a huge out. I can't blame Trill's band. In his song, he said it's a documentary. It's a documentary. It's a documentary. We're going to play that shit. And he got a song, I don't owe you nothing. Yeah, I took y'all fucking money. I don't owe you nothing. Take these fools' money. Americans, they want to believe fake foreign news and fucking donate to that and not their children's future. Children won't have no future. Farming the children's will. Outcry via social media. It was such a huge outcry via social media that they had to go get this man. You had everybody talking about this. You had Joe Budden. You had other um, celebrities talking and voicing about this. You even had comedians talking about this and making videos. So everybody was eating off this because they was making some commentary off of this. But the sad part about it is it was a lie. It, it wasn't was a lie. That's called fake news. It's called a psyop. It's called they demonizing us. You know how much respect I lost for a lot of ratchet queens and thought my ladies. 
you know how my tolerance really went down for ignorance and betrayal and all that shit? Like, I don't got no tolerance for none of that shit. For real, for real, because I'm not fucking with nobody. Where the fuck you've been for two years? And what the fuck have you been doing for your life besides maintaining? What are you giving back to society? Fuck society, right? That's why I can't fuck with people. Because the same way you saying fuck society, people saying fuck you. What are you about besides maintaining? What are you doing to make sure the future don't fuck up like you did? Nothing, right? Because it's all about you, right? That's why I'm not fucking with you. I could be somewhere doing all about me. But I come on to do this. Whether you take it as good or bad, somebody's going to appreciate it and value it. That's what it's about. It was a lie. And I know some of y'all say, well, Mario, how is this proven? When they went to court, I got to make sure I get all this. I got to make sure I get all We just showed you the rape kit that said there's no DNA in her anal. You see how people just need more? You need to go extra and beyond when a black man's in jail. That's what this PSYOP is showing people. Because even though the shit is saying he innocent, and you could tell from that video ain't shit happened, you could tell from her actions ain't shit happened. They still saying you ain't proved nothing. We done showed the cop running with Rosemont is the DHS liaison, phone systems, actors, consent waivers, and everything. Motherfuckers is self-haters and they're traitors. That's why I told you when the clock strikes 12, don't let motherfuckers know you woke because they ain't going to have shit and they going to come and try to take your shit. So you keep acting sleep right along with they dumb asses, but you better be preparing because it's going to get ugly and ain't nobody preparing. This right here. Darian ain't in jail. He in okay, St. Louis. I got that part. With Dominic, um, Jasmine, and all of them. It was a lie, right? It was a whole lie. And even though social media was like, oh my God, he raped her, this man Ubered his way to the jail in Fulton County, turned himself in. They gave him a polygraph test in which he passed it with flying colors. Passed they gave the him a detector. polygraph test because he was in the army. Gave and anybody in the army, they give you a polygraph test. He was in the army and he passed it with flying colors. So, the reason why I'm going down this road is because, again, here is, again, another man that's being drugged through the court system for a lie. Meanwhile, Jasmine Elon. And all her little crew is out here talking about, like, I'm just so hurt about what social media did to me. No, ma'am, you did this to yourself. You was out here stunting for the gram and Facebook. You wanted views. You wanted people to donate to your cause. But what was your cause? Who are you? Like, donate to do what? Donate to do what? Donate to do what? All right. So you got to realize that women are doing this type of stuff. Women are doing this type of stuff. Do y'all remember when I talked about yeah, that story on playing. YouTube about how um, Planet of the Sire, the there was radio. this young girl. This, I think this was in Philly or something like that. Do y'all remember this? Um, there was this young girl who raped her friend's little brother and gave him herpes or some shit, or STD. I remember, gave, yeah. what, did, did she give him she HIV? She was 20 years old. The, kid, the, the story's been a while ago. I, put, I had that but, video, y'all. I showed that. Remember the, the grown woman uh, they was beating up? Gave him HIV? Sex with the little girl? I didn't I know he got I'm HIV. Oh, shit. She gave him HIV? Oh. The, the sisters and the cousins whooped her behind. Remember I showed that video? Oh, I ain't know they Again, gave him HIV. Women Nasty. do crazy things like Nasty. this too. Nasty. Also, Dr. let's Lady not forget Ratchet about Queen. R. Kelly's sister. R. Kelly's sister raped R. Kelly. Allegedly. So women 
can be just as the same as men and do jacked up things. All right. Ruined them, okay? The lawyers knew better. Man. All right, so that's a psyop lawyer. Though. Jasmine Elon had been tampering with the text messages and creating text messages right along with Dominique's ex, uh, Tata, creating oh, Tata text messages and sending them to the police, which was found to be false. They didn't, they had to throw the stuff out because again, they found it to be false and they had to throw that out. Tata came and recanted her entire story and said that he raped her. He Hello, did this, Lotus. all this Welcome, other queen. stuff. Her whole story was found to be false. This is in court. Her whole story was found to be false. And y'all say, well, why is this man still sitting in jail? Because the state is saying that they have evidence. Every time this man go back to court, they're saying, oh, we have proof. We have proof. We got another witness. We got another witness. And his attorney is like, the attorney, the attorney and the judge is like, where's his evidence? Where's his witness? What's going on? Because if we're going to keep this man... We need to keep him based upon facts, evidence, proof. And you guys have not brought any of those things, but you're requesting for a continuance based upon something that you said that you have. And we're holding this man and this is going to hurt us in the long run. All right. So. Let me, let me, let me get this. Oh, yeah, that's the other part. We're still waiting on, we're still waiting on the rape kit. How long does it typically take a rape kit to come through? He don't even know. The rape kit has been back. I showed it to y'all. He don't even know. This how video long does it today. typically, the, well, how long does it typically take a rape kit to come through? I already how showed long? the rape kit. I mean, does it take... A day, two, three It'll days, weeks. 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours. It cleared Dominic. Week, I just showed it. Two weeks. Because I know when, you know, when you normally go get, you know, your blood tested, um, you, you go to, you know, take, get she tested like for two. HIV, STDs. Oh, no, it, that HIV shit, it, it typically can take a couple of days. It don't nah, take that got long. HIV instant testing. Now, with the magnitude of this particular situation, it shouldn't have taken that long. Oh, yes. Since this came back to mind, the police left Atlanta to go to St. Louis to meet Jasmine Elon to cover all of these things. And to get all of this stuff, testing and all this stuff done. And they still didn't find nothing. Club Opera, in which who she was suing, Club Opera gave all the video footage in which you see Dominique go from Jasmine to the bar and back to the bar. You don't see no foul play nowhere. I'm talking better than y'all respond. So that was thrown out. That that was Don't that was the like button y'all playing on the face. Because again, you say Showing that there was something how fake done. News is run. At the club, we look at the club footage and there's nothing done at the club. But then she was also asking August Alcina to rape her too. Now oh, this is about who the about third that? or fourth rape time. Me. She's been on camera telling somebody that she wants to be raped. Right? August, okay. rape me. So, remember? Again, real according good look, to American the court women, records and information, real good look. we are still waiting on a rape kit. 
Can y'all hear me? I showed the rape so, kit. I'll show it again. We're still waiting for a rape kit. I got the rape kit. I'll show it again. I, I'm still trying to figure out, like, at this point, at this point, is, like a rape kit, is a rape kit even valid at this point? Can y'all hear me? Is a rape kit even Looking valid like at this point? No, a rape uh, kit is the nail in the faking coffin. And even with the club, pay attention, y'all. Pay attention to this. Jasmine wants to sue the club and not the person. Now, if, if you say that somebody raped you, help, help me make it make sense. If you say that someone raped you, wouldn't you go after that person? Wouldn't you go after that individual? But she's going after the club. Why? It's money. She wants to accuse the club of not having enough security. Ma'am, one, who are you? Two, these people have people coming in and out the club every day almost or every night. And I'm quite sure they have enough people on staff to handle whatever needs to be handled. So why is it that you want to sue the club? Because you want to say, oh, hey, they didn't have enough security. I was taken advantage of. Was nobody watching? Well, we already looked at all the security cameras and nothing was done to you. You were not raped. You were not drugged any of those things, again, that's via the court information. That's via the testimonies from the court, period. Now, as far as I'm concerned, let's touch on this. Because we have a problem now with Facebook and YouTube. Because not only between Jasmine, Elon, Anastasia Curtis, and the Gossip Girl, I was being flagged. <laughs> yes. I was being flagged for harassment, bullying, <laughs> victim shaming. And victimizing someone. Now, at that particular time, it was fresh. It was new. And I was looking at first. I was like so many of you all. I was outraged because I said, this is crazy. But then I had to stop and look at everything and realize this woman was out here lying. And now a grown man is in jail, a black man is in jail no because of, of a lie. And I said, you all need to pay attention and look at everything. Look at all the that video mean he footage. got stripped from the army. If he's How still can in jail you rape somebody year, and you on. didn't pull out your, your you, you know what I'm saying? You, know, you get what I'm saying? I mean, like, if I'm watching the video, I didn't see the man pull his penis out. And according to, especially the security cameras and everything, when he pulled her off to the side, he didn't do anything to her. Yes or no? Does so he have again, gonorrhea? So again, how does he have gonorrhea? Did yes or no? You get raped. And why is this man still in jail? So, Jasmine Elon, morning. Anastasia Curtis. You got and and I, and I recorded. I have the the um. The post. Anastasia I had to record Curtis. the post. Is that I her real actually name? went through my footage. So I'm going to post this. I'm going to post this so the people can see it. You got on my post and wanted me to take my video down. You not that's only flagged girl. my Facebook no, that's the other page, girl. but you flagged my YouTube page. You flagged my stuff because you wanted to hide the fact 
and you say, oh, this is embarrassing to my friend. It's not embarrassing because your friend is a liar. Gossip girl, the same thing. And first of all, as a former man, you should want to make sure you get all the evidence. Pause. Can y'all he... hear me? Oh my God. You Who should want to make sure that you get all the evidence before you just want to willy nilly put somebody in jail. As a former man. Exactly. I want to rewind that. So not only was the first person to get the Dominic Williams interview a foreigner, it's a trans woman. So all you little dot ratchet queens sitting there promoting Gossip Girl, you know, the one that had the West Indian accent interview with Dominic, a trans fucking woman. Y'all lost in the sauce, man. I don't even think prayer could help people because they want to be lost. Remember what the New World Order say, they will beg for their enslavement. I wake up every day and see people begging to be enslaved. I say, oh, well, that's them. You shouldn't want to see another black man in jail, especially on some trumped up falsified charges. Let me rewind it. Because once a black... Here got my receipt that all these traders that sat there and followed this fake story and supported that fake narrative of that dot queen, they're hiding STDs from people and probably a lot of trans on their sides too since they can't tell a trans from their own selves, can't tell these foreigners from their American selves. Hey, I guess it's all good in the, in the battlefield, right? Stay away because from not me. only between Jasmine, Stay away from Elon, people, Anastasia Curtis and the Gossip Girl. I was being flagged. Yes, I was being flagged Foreign for trans harassment. Women, just like that whole bullying, little fucking Scoopy Tang gang. Victim I shaming that shit too. and victimizing someone. Now, at that particular time, it was fresh. I it was new. Everything. And I was looking, at first I was like so many of you all, I was outraged because I said, this is crazy. But then I had to stop and look at everything and realize this woman was out here lying. And now a grown man is in jail. A black man is in jail because of a lie. And I said, you jail, all need dog. to pay attention and like, look at it. And that's what I don't understand. How he do all that research on Jasmine Elam, but he don't do no research on Dominic Williams being in jail. You ain't send him a letter, nothing? Like, your man is not in jail, dog. He ain't in jail. Darian Vince ain't in jail. Patrick Stallworth ain't, jail. ain't in jail. Derek Brown ain't in jail. I Like, I'm telling you, look at how fast they blacked the eye of the dude with Anaya Blanchard. You ain't never see Darian touch, but he got time to tell a white guy. But first, Quarnell X steals the press light from him by making up this story that he busted in the jail and got a confession of where the body was. I can't believe y'all people believe this shit. Quarnell X don't even fucking look American either. I can't stand you fakers, but I'm glad you faking out of existence. Y'all don't deserve to be here. At everything. Look at all the video footage. You want to take that ring off? How can you rape somebody it and you didn't pull fake. out your your you you know what I'm saying? You know you get what I'm saying? I mean, like if I'm watching the video, he said, "How do you rape someone and you don't pull out your pecker? How do you think somebody's in jail with no charges, no pending charges? Uh, he passed a lie detector with flying colors. She said nothing happened to her. You still think he in jail because white media?" Never told you he was released. That's the enslavement of your brain. That's the enslavement of your brain and the fact he won't take that step further to confirm Dominic Williams is in there, it tells me something. We all know I could call right now and the computer system will tell me he's in there. But what are they holding him on? Yo, I didn't see the man pull his penis out. 
Yep. And according to, especially the security cameras and everything, he, when he pulled her off to the side, he didn't do anything to her. So again, how did you get raped? And why is this man still in jail? So, Jasmine Elon, morning. You got raped because Ty Rowland was Anastasia it. Curtis. Big B. You, you got, got and, and, I, and I recorded, I have girl. the the um, the post. I had to record the post. I actually went through my footage. So I'm going to post this. I'm going to post this so the people can see it. Looking you like got on my post Jay. and wanted me to take my video down. You not only flagged my Facebook page, Hello, free but you game. flagged up, my man? YouTube page. You flagged my stuff because you wanted to hide the fact and you say, oh, this is embarrassing to my friend. It's not embarrassing no, gossip girl because that your friend is a liar. A friend. Gossip girl. It might be gossip The same city. thing. It might be gossip city. And first of all, as a former man, you should want to make sure you get all the evidence. Can y'all hear me? You should want to make sure that you get all the evidence before you just want to willy-nilly put somebody in jail. As a former man, you shouldn't want to see another black man in jail, especially on some trumped-up falsified charges. Because once a black man goes in the system, the court system, it's not for black folks, hello. It's not for black people. Once a black man gets into the system, it is hard to get him out. It's easy to get him in there, but it's hard to get him out. And also as a trans woman now, as a trans woman now, you should be a little bit more. I thought Jasmine was uh, a trans. Wanting to get all the facts before you just want to go dragging somebody. And I know we all jumped on it. But you should want to get the facts. I thought Jasmine was a trans. No. And for everybody. You got to see this. You got to rewind the live. For everybody who was flagging my channel. And now you're out here talking about she's a liar. You should feel so dumb right now. Tell me Jasmine don't look a little on the masculine side. <laughs> hey Shayna You should feel so dumb right now But that's okay The face of an actress This is a, a father actress. of two A boy and a girl He takes care of his grandmother His grandmother lives nah, they talk about On the gossip, first floor girl. of his home So if Tata's out here saying that she slept in the living room. Did you sleep with his grandmother? H Hello, did you sleep with his grandma? Tata's the ex-girlfriend that lied on him. Again. Hey, again, men. Men do matter. And really, honestly, it doesn't matter what color you are. Men are being victimized just like women are being victimized. And this needs to be talked about. This needs to be talked about. I've been hoorahing for women for years. Men have a voice too. Men have a voice too. And it's sad. It's sad because nobody wants to hear what they have to say. Nobody wants to hear what they have to say. Again, we're still waiting for this evidence, this newfound evidence that the state has against Dominique Williams. And this is the third time y'all been saying this. We're waiting for evidence. Where's the evidence? The judge is, is saying, where's the evidence? 
the, the, his attorney is saying, where's the evidence? Where's it at? Where is it at? This man has been in jail since, uh, what was it, last January? Was it last January or December? Last January, y'all. He's been in jail all this time on a lie. On a lie. And, and the state keeps trying to bring more and more alleged evidence that is keeps coming up inconclusive. So all this time, this black man is away from his son, and his daughter, and his family because some little raggedy woman wants to sit up here and make a lie for social media and get sympathy for social media. It's been a year now. It's been a year now. Men, me too. Y'all want to have this women, me too movement? Well, men, me too. Hashtag, y'all hashtag men, me too. Hashtag men, me too. Justice for Dominique. Oh, Lord, Danny. Hashtag men, me too. Hashtag, did y'all put that down there? Uh, Put that in the comments. Hashtag me and me too. I'm going to be putting. Maytha absolutely right. And that's exactly. That's exactly what his attorney said. When it's all over said and done with. She's going to have to go to jail. She's going to have to go to jail. Her ex-husband's going to have need to go to jail. They had a and me personally, me to get a I mean, this on may be a album. stretch, but Anastasia, because you out here flagging people's pages and stuff, because you are you are an accessory to a crime. Anybody who supported this foolishness, in case you don't know what you're talking about, it's deep. It's just deep. It's just deep. It's, I'm just like. You need to be you your pages need to be shut down. Cause it's when he said the ex-husband need to be arrested, it's because he's alleging that Jasmine Elin, the GoFundMe that she raised for a lawyer, it was actually to raise money to get little Boosie on her ex-husband's album. They paid little Boosie with the Psyop rape GoFundMe money. How about that? Doc Milady. Ratchet Queens. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. <laughs> it's foolishness. Absolutely. Our black boys, our black boys and black men, our black boys and black men are having to face things like this every single day while we out here marching for black lives matter listen march for your son because if there's no black men who's gonna protect you you know i know we we all kind of protect each other but look everybody matters in this thing everybody matters in this thing i have brothers I have nephews, I have cousins. Like I said in my video last night, I said in my video last night, I have a cousin who committed suicide because there was a woman that his ex-wife wanted to ruin his life. And he got tired. Sad to say, but he, he took his life. What the hell? Do you not know oh men are taking... Oh, my God. That's not a good story to tell. What the fake is wrong with him? He just took an L for all men. He said, dude, let his ex-wife bully him and commit suicide. I'm done with this dude. Keejan, what's wrong with him? You don't even tell stories like that. He just said his boy, <laughs> ex-wife, bullied him to suicide. What the... 
I'm leaving all those friends. Anybody you know, I'm leaving. And I'm never letting you contact me again before I kill myself. What the hell is wrong with him? He killed himself. He couldn't escape his ex-wife's bullying. He couldn't escape his ex-wife's bullying. I wonder, I wonder what his ex-wife is doing now. She probably got a I made him commit suicide trophy on the mantle. In their lives because it's like, who is going to listen to me? Who is going to hear what I have to say? And what do you women do? You sit back like, fuck them. No. <laughs> because if something happens to you, you won't go to cry loud. So we going to cry loud for these men. I don't need another man to commit suicide. I don't need another man to go out here and get on drugs for the sake of this type of foolishness. There are actually good men out here. There are actually good men out here. You're supposed to say I am one? And you know what, ladies? I hate that you found a bad one. Excuse me. I hate that you came across a bad one. But there are actually good men out here. Men, there are, there are good men out here. Everybody ain't a hoe. Everybody ain't out here trying to cheat. Everybody ain't out here trying to get over on you. Period. There are actually good men out here. And I know y'all used to me dragging and, 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 and running with the T. But y'all, this, this needs to be said. This really needs to be said. There are actually good men out here. You might have gotten a bad one, but there are actually good men out here. So if you got a good man, cherish him. All of this, this Jasmine Elon foolishness and carrying on, this stuff got to stop. This man has been in jail over a year now for a lie. <laughs> and Jasmine going on with her life. No. I... You need to be in jail. You need to be in jail for lies. And there's a list of things that we can connect with this lie. False, uh, uh, false outcry. You didn't got social media on a buzz. Conspiracy. Because you, you took a video that I, I'm sure I could see this in a video. A uh, 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 a music video, some girl twerking half naked on some man's dick. I'm quite sure I can see this on on a rap video on on Bad Boys Two, One, Two, and Three. I can see somebody twerking it on it, and eh, eh. I can see it, and I have seen it. Ratchy queens, dot ladies. It's sad. So again, justice for Dominique. Justice for Dominique Williams. Legit. Justice for Dominique Williams. This man needs to be out. He needs to be with his kids. This is probably one of the worst times in his life. He's military, he would have been out, trust me though. This is probably one of the worst times in his life. You don't even hear about bail, none of that shit. To not just be accused you don't of rape get out. and drugging somebody, but being drugged across social media for raping and drugging somebody. Look at Jasmine. So. Look at the pompous attitude. While we had that same actress. energy and saying lock him up. Because I had to come back and I had to fix my statement too. Because I said lock man. him up. I did. I said lock him up. Nobody gave a shit about But when I found out what was wrong, I had to fix it. So I, brought I had to fix it. Tell you what it is. Because everything that I was watching and seeing was not a rape. It was not a drugging. Because you left from 
so calledly being raped and drugged, you went to the car with your friend. And then you went back inside and you twerked on the dance floor with no drawers on. You had your, you had your coochie popping it on the floor. You had your booty cheeks clapping in the air so all the whole men in the world could see in the club. You had your old wolf puss out here waving it and shaking it and carrying on. So when I found out the truth, I had to come back. I had to come back. Because again, it's things like this that end up putting more and more and more men in the system. More and more men in the system. There are men is sitting in jail right now for lies. Boy, you talking about nothing. That's why this is believable. So what you gonna do? They tested to so see if the audience mean me too. would really condemn a man Hashtag with no evidence and in public opinion. He's guilty. It tells the fate too. of all of us. Thank you, America. Thank you, Ratchet Queens, and thank you all you fake news. Support and content creators. Oh, it's going down in history with Sanjay. Right and it's not the right one. Hey, Nay. Hashtag me and me too. Motherfuckers wanna be me. Fly guy like Stevie. Pussy ninja wanna. Motherfuckers know. So anyway, just want to come on, got some more stuff, I just want to go over there with you and uh, talk about that. You can see him now, let me throw Never loved us, not a motherfucker Now I'm out of pension like a five doctor Remember five shots at like five niggas for trying to spy. Now I'm back off a better of being eating beats with El Cordy Just edible shit, mama moving that way Just a matter of flip, I'm dipped on them trip Yeah, 46 months in the penitentiary This a documentary, I got a major stay on bullshit 33 is strength, long nose barrel Call it Scotty Pippen, I'm trip I ain't showing no sympathy for these niggas uh. I'm fresh off the beat, man, fuck these niggas Motherfucker never loved us Never gave us nothing Send the game up, got out the mud I don't owe you nothing Man, it's blood, sweat, and tears that I put in the shit, yeah I don't owe you nothing My mama told me, go get it, I got the ticket I'm about to kill you Motherfucker never loved us Never gave us nothing Send the game up, got out the mud I don't owe you nothing Man, it's blood, sweat, and tears that I put in the shit, yeah I don't owe you nothing Shout out to the people that donated to her rape fund and went to Little Bootsy. It went to Little Bootsy on that album. Little Bootsy got Jasmine Elin's GoFundMe lawyer money. Because, of course, the PSYOP is going to provide her attorney. Yeah, look at the attorney they provided her. PSYOP attorney. Pat yourself on the back. Woke people thinking this was real. Let's go to the rape kit just because I know people ignore all the receipts I just showed because they're hating fake Americans looking up the foreigners going in FEMA camp nobodies. But before we do that, let me put on Trill's band, my bad. Let me put on this Trill's band other song. But shout out to the zombies. I told you, you're not in nobody's way. Nobody's way. You know who way you in? Your own way. We own your brain. Think about us. Trill's business, I still ain't find it. I must be spelling this shit wrong. Mother VZ wanna see me? Fly guy like TV? Pussy Ninja wanna be me? Out of town, drinking out of a kiwi. It's like the last one he did, I think. Let's see how he... 
Oh, look at all that Jasmine Elon go for me money he wear it buying watches and all that. That was y'all money? Oh, y'all bought that necklace. What's up, Asian? I was turned up one night. I was back on the flight. That's your bitch up on my dick. She trying to ride like a bike. Oh. I just beat the pussy up. Now she calling me Mike. Told that bitch get off my phone tonight. I got to run up a check, yeah. Trying to pull up in the vet, yeah. Your bitch out on my dick right now. Told that bitch don't flex, yeah. She be calling me. She just trying to get an idea. I don't give a fuck the fuck to in the back of her Ikea. Oh, damn. the trills bands and every foreigner taking advantage of every american that think they getting over on another american by not supporting them you're not supporting your future that's why y'all ain't gonna be here in 50 years y'all not here now y'all just don't know it but anyway let me show them the rape kit and if you got sons you i would be ashamed of myself because you basically doing this to your sons the same way you demonizing dominic the generations, the future generations, they're going to be demonizing your sons worse. So pat yourselves on the back, ratchet queens with sons, raising them. Dominic's your son. Dominic's your brothers, your uncle, your fathers. Shout out to y'all. I know y'all got all that love around y'all now, right? Yeah, all right. What's the definition of insanity? People that do the same thing and expect different results. Ratchet queens. Ratchet queens. At the end of the day, I don't care if people don't believe me. I'm going to be going in the right direction. Like, I'm in the right direction now. But shout out to y'all. And like I said, these news stories is just like people. Fake. False fraudsters. Good luck with that. It got y'all so far. 2020. What, what? We getting out of here. What up, love, Tim? What up? We out of here, queen. But I got another live coming later. King and queens of content. You know how we do this. Hit that dollar sign POT effect. New umbrella called 2020. Our year, suckers. False baby. False baby. False baby. False baby. False Pressure, put it on him, he gon' fold That's false baby, false baby, false baby Never look out for his team, out for his own That's false baby, false baby, false baby Can't handle pressure, put it on him, he gon' fold Never look out for his team, out for his own He ain't got no hundred bands, ain't a thing that he own If we lie on him, that's gon' get him out of zone That's false baby, false baby, false baby Diamonds blind just like a use and throw Kodak but I'm not a project baby from the slums, you know that Love, love it when they mouth but can't handle the blowback Why would they try as consequences are no facts See me with the bag, therefore she gon' throw that Throw it in a circle, no I tell her to throw back Air Force Ones with the number three throwback Drop the shoulder, take off on a nigga, never look back Stacks filled in what seems to be a book bag In too deep, there's no way we can look back Ops reach out with a hand, no we never shook that Shook that, shook that, no we we never shook that, shook that, shook that. No, we never shook that. Still in my DMs, but no, we never look back. Still in my DMs, but no, we never look back. Can't handle.
no pressure, put it on him, he gon' fold Never look out for his team, out for his own He ain't got no hundred bands, ain't a thing that he own If we lie on him, that's gon' get him out of his own That's false, baby, false, baby, false, baby Hooks might be catchy, but the verse is always deadly They said foul things, now acting real friendly If they could, they would too, loving, go and dead me On the bed of things, so I'ma go ahead and dead this Rapping like a rap star, flossing like a dentist Rules will live by, set in stone can't change this I've been elevating I've been going through some changes All my brothers Different races Speak the same language Phone could be tapped But they wouldn't understand this This that make a meal Before the deal Get a deal Then we kill If they don't Then we still So in the end Still win Can't handle pressure Put it on him He gon' fall That's false baby False baby False baby Never look out for his team Out for his own That's false baby False baby False baby Can't handle pressure Put it on him He gon' fold Never look Got for his team out for his own He ain't got no hundred bands Ain't a thing that he owned If we lie on him That's gonna get him out of zone That's false baby 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 And you know what ignorance is? Ignorance is not acknowledging You're not only being laughed at But you will never get the last laugh That's what ignorance is and it's a lot of people out there that's ignorant. More power to them. Just be careful, because when the lights go out, you will not be able to trust them. We can't trust them with the lights on. Anybody got anything to say before we get out of here? I showed you that DNA is no link and none of that. Your boy's not in jail. I may call a jail later, like I called before, just to confirm they got fake records of him in there. He's in the military. It's no way he's staying in jail with no evidence, no charges, no nothing. Just a Facebook. See, they want to. They want that Facebook to be evidence and laws against people because they can manipulate that. Because they could change the time on that. They could direct that. You understand? As long as we let them do that. They could give us fake riots and throw us all in FEMA camps based on a fake riot. And that's what they building up to. They building up to give us this big grandiose America is basically being either attacked by homegrown terrorists or Iran. And motherfuckers gonna fall for that dumbass shit just like they falling for all these other fake news stories. Don't be surprised if your asses is by yourselves. I probably stay quiet and go along with the fake shit. Like, yeah, they deserve it. Go along with this shit. Get they dumb asses out of here. Expeditiously. Like, yeah, yeah, it happened. Go with them. Yeah, yeah, go with your government. Take your dumb ass out of here. FEMA camps. Microchipped. Yeah, yeah, your state law said take the microchip. Get your dumb ass out of here. Anyway, I see there's no more questions. Shout out to everybody. In the bushes, whether liking, disliking. We chilling, playing of the fix. I see y'all later in the AM. Can we get a safe landing? Can we get a safe landing? And you know how I'm going to take them out of here. Shout out to... Shout out to the less fortunate, intellectually challenged traders, haters, waiters. Shout out to y'all. Without y'all, how would we def define winning? Without the losers? How would we define success? Without the failures? How would we define triumph? Without the conquered. So we go hand in hand. Just know that. Just know that. But anyway, I just wanted to personally tell y'all, y'all failed. And y'all will forever fail. Because the righteous wins on the planet of the figs. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Wanna verses of more that she could You wanna silence the voice of the speaker? Fail. From Bleaker to Wales, y'all Luca to Nail. You wanna challenge DykemanHouses.com? Fail. You wanna verses of more that she could The planet of fakes coming up out the speaker? Fail. Some cops went to jail, some judges down in hell. You wanna challenge DykemanHouses.com? Fail. You wanna verses of more that she the planet of fate coming up on the speaker Some cops in the jail, some judges down in hell I get compensated while I get incarcerated Rushed by crowds and all the stars I hated Wear a face mask on prime time TV Accuse your presence if you ever disbelieve me I bring a ratchet or hatchet wherever beef beef I even stole from the prisons, ask Chief E, wanted by TSA, DHS, Halliburton, I wrote a single white female, that just now I'm hurting, a more dash ether, still got time to style your curtain, I protest the grotesque, no rest, I got an army of zombies that so less, they think there's nothing more, I raise them up, puff and roar, how you gon' cuff a whore and don't got enough for war, thankmanhouses.com, I snuff your sword. So don't be target, I crush a flea market You got an e-blunt, no button, let me spark it You wanna challenge DykemanHouses.com? Fail You wanna versus the more that she can? Fail You wanna silence the voice of the speaker? Fail From bleaker to whale, y'all weaker than nail You wanna challenge DykemanHouses.com? Fail You wanna versus the more that she can? Fail The planet of fakes coming up out the speaker? Fail some cops went to jail, some judge got down, down in hell. hell. You wanna challenge DykemanHouses.com? Fail. You wanna versus a more that she could? Fail. The planet of fate coming up out your speaker. Fail. Some cops went to jail, some judges down in hell. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Judges in hell. Yeah, it's no more, man. Now, there's a lot of people out there that think they know what I'm doing. A lot of people out there that know they know. No, I do not. But I want to thank everybody that came out. If you still think this is real, prove Dominic Williams in jail. Write him a letter. Go visit him. Besides that, get the fake news footage they give everybody. Get the fake report and the fake automated call they give everybody. At the end of the day, they run in experiments on the American people, letting the actors keep the GoFundMe money and other proceeds that they could get from tricking y'all into their sympathetic staged events, period. And y'all keep y'all keep feeding into that shit. It's getting y'all far. It's getting y'all so far and y'all so happy. So do what makes you happy. Yep, go through life doing what make you happy. But we getting out of here. Hopefully these credits come up. If they don't, I want to give credit to the kings and queens of content. Everybody that watched from the bushes. Even the haters that disliked. Because there is no triumph without the conquered and I'm gonna just end it we don't need to give the credits everybody know who they are shout out to y'all remember I got another live coming in the AM plan of the fix we out of here stay positive stay productive stay prolific most of all stay profitable